So what's all the y'all from doing your art show? Dude, absolutely nothing. I am. Uh, so it's the only thing that's missing from me to do art though is um is me being an overthinker. I'm overthinking the situation, and I want to I want to do things. Um, well, I'm not gonna say I want to do things big because it's, it's not bad to want to do things big. Um, but I think I look at the it's a completed um mission instead of taking a baby step. Um, I'm my own worst critic. I get in my own way. Like I have a ton of words to be coffee table books, shows, um, like the solo exhibit and everything. Um, but. I don't feel confident enough that it's it's going to land the way I envision it. So I get overwhelmed with that, and I just don't start. Someone said to me that um, a little and a little equals a whole heap. And what I got from it was that whenever I can do the small things, it gives me the confidence mm. to continue with those consistent small things to end up building to be something big and massive. Mm -hmm. um, just like working out, I believe that everything is about the disciplines that lead to the, uh, the end result. Mm -hmm. Everything's about the small habits that end up leading to the accomplishment of the goal. Mm -hmm. um, my challenge to you is that if you identify, I challenge you to identify what those daily small things need to be mm -hmm. so that you can accomplish that goal that you really do want. Yeah. Other than that, I don't even believe you really want an art show. No, I, I'm always wanted an art show. I think when I um when I really had the the, the confidence to, to go forward with it, it was gonna be June of twenty twenty. Um I had it all mapped out and of course COVID hit in mm -hmm. that time. Like I really had, I, I really had and drinking this art show, and I was setting everything up as far as like, I mean, I had uh, custom framers on deck, um, print on deck. Like I had everything in motion, and then that kind of just set it on the back burner. And then from there, I just continued to work, but not work at my personal. Um, personal goals and stuff like that. Uh, how do you balance going after your own personal goals, but also being in a relationship that provides additional goals for you as well? Man, that's, that's, that's a tough question. It's funny because when, when me and my, um, when, when me and my girlfriend met, um, I was at a healing stage. So I was on ice. I didn't really have anything going on too much. Um, so that's the, that's the person that she seen at, that she got to know. Um, uh, but I also told her that I'm not this person all the time. Like I had blind seizures and stuff like that. So I found myself doing a lot of domestic work and a lot of relationship building in that healing state. And I went ahead in my, in my set as much. Until, as a recent, um, I realized that I was sitting too long and not like being motivated to work, um, and 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 do bad. But I was growing with my lady. Um, I realized that I had to get back to work. Okay. So every week or Thursdays is my day, and I tackle the studio, go to the studio, just vibe, um, feel creative. Um, and just be in that space. So it's 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 the, it's still a challenge, but I'm getting back to that balance. Um, because she requires a lot of time, and on the opposite of that, I require a lot of space at times. But the crazy thing is, like her drives within her field, I give her all that space. And that motivates you to do bigger, bigger things in my space as well. So next Wednesday, I'm gonna um, I'm send you a portfolio that I'm getting ready to. Um, yeah. That uh, this is gonna be one of my portfolios of uh, all of my best work yeah. that could potentially uh, be used for an exhibit. Uh, What's the reason why you sent that in the mix? Uh, I, I need you to hold me accountable. What's up? Man? I seen I seen Brian McClellan's Instagram, and I seen the pics, and I was like, yo. Mm -hmm. This is a lookbook.
for I could tell I could tell that there was a creative eye that took these pictures. It wasn't just mm. pictures that was just taken just because. Like, I thought that was fire. That was for uh, almost, that was for Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was great. It's, it's it's even wild because I didn't feel as if I did my best starting out. Mm -hmm. Um, for the simple fact that everything is moving so fast. Like I'm I'm mm -hmm. I'm pretty used to um uh control lighting controlled uh like poles and stuff like that like my lifestyle work is is okay but so i'm talking like that i'm talking like that no that means your mind your mindset is going to stop when you actually ex at, at okay okay to me it's like 70 percent when you say my thing is okay that means mentally you're going to uh accept that one now if you say my lifestyle needs work and i'm working on it well that's the connection okay that says i'm studying okay when you actively possess something without any progress hey mm -hmm. it is okay mentally you you subconsciously accepting it's it's a it's it can stay there no 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 I, I know consciously you're not saying that no but something I mean, that's what i fear hear, hear me out hear me out bring it down because you ain't even let me finish i did I did. Like, I know it's okay right now, but I have so much room to get better, and that's why I practice. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, practicing, yeah. I'm practicing lifestyle. I'm practicing on the fly, moving fast, and, and creating, like, faster. Mm -hmm. um, as of right now, like, oh, it's, 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 it's cool, but I know where I'm going with it. See what I mean? Oh, I'm, I got I'm not about to you, bro. Yeah, no worry. Right? Yeah, I about that. I definitely cut you off. And I was just triggered, bro. I got you. Okay. I learned that a lot of times I don't always hear what's being said. Mm -hmm. I hear what's being said filtered through my own life experiences. I got you. And I literally was like, no, I ain't letting him do what I did before. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, listen, listen. I, That's I, what I heard. I, I learned I learned from you, Shiz, and and Chuck a long time ago to not downplay my work.